Hi everybody, Tim Yamix here and today it's about how to use the Interventory Resolve with Clubi Film Look Lights. You know, I don't recommend to use LUTs, especially if you are not sure how the LUT is built for, but there are some really great LUTs already included in DaVinci Resolve, so for example the Arilox C2X709 LUT or the Film Look LUTs for Fuji and Kodak. But I see often many guys using these LUTs not correctly, so let me show you how to use this Film Look LUTs. Let me show you first the most common way. If I adjust my image as usual with my primaries, let me do this quickly. Adjusting gain and lift, a bit gamma, and finally, let's say, bring in a bit contrast. Something like this looks fine. Then I have a good starting point. And here is the first important fact. Never, really never add a LUT in your first note. Don't do that. It will not work correctly. Now I add another serial note, and let's say we want to use a codec 2383 D65 film look here and now see what happens. This does not work. What many guys try to do now is to add another serial node behind this LUT and then to adjust the image again. Look, this does not work very well. What many guys are doing too is to readjust the image in the first node here. This can work, but that's not for what this LUT is built for. For sure, you can adjust it until it looks good, but the better and more correctly way is to use this LUT in the following way. Let me reset this node tree. And what I do now is to add a color space transform node, also called CST, here in the first node and leaving the input fields as it is and I change only the output gamma to Cineon Film Lock. And look what happens. We already stay in our color space, but we changed the gamma to Cineon Film Lock. This Film Lock LUTs here included in DaVinci Resolve are designed for Cineon Film Lock. That's what you should keep in mind. Now let's see how this works. In another serial node, after the transform node, I add this LUT again. And now look how smooth and much more filmic the image looks. The only thing you have to do now is to adjust the image to your needs, but behind the transform node and before the LUT. Let me do this quickly. Here. This looks okay. And voila. And if you see such lines here in the scopes, this means your black point is way too high, but no problem. You can fix that in another serial node behind your LUT, just by lowering the lift a bit until these lines here fit the zero level of your scopes. And what you should avoid is to bring in saturation before the LUT. Let me show you why. If I rise up the saturation to 7.5 for example, here in my primaries nodes, the image looks okay, but that's not what you want. What you want is to apply this filmic look LUT to achieve this film look. And this means to get the film look colors too, right? So let me add another version. And now I reset the saturation on this primaries node to 50. And then in my last node, I increase the saturation to 752. So we have the same saturation level in both versions, but now after the LUT. And if I now jump between these two versions, you can see the difference clearly. Look how much better the colors and especially the skin tones looks now. Again, before and after, and that's for what the LUT is built for. Now we have applied this LUT correctly. The most important is to adjust your primaries between the transform node and the LUT node, but only the primaries and a bit contrast. That's it. All other adjustments should be done after the LUT. For example, qualifiers and power windows. That's the right way to work with this LUTs because for this they are built for. And if you have to deal with noise in your image, this always has to be the first node. In this case, before the transform node. You know, I highly recommend not using LUTs. The only exception are film look LUTs and technical LUTs like the Arilog C2X9 for example, but I mostly transform footage by transform nodes 
or in the project. And if you want to know how to achieve a look without using LUTs, just watch my look creation videos. I link some in the final credits. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. You all a great time. Bye.